guys today I want to do the intro for seven summer flings so this is a seasonal challenge started by Stephanie and her channel name is Daisy Girly I think I will link her down below I think this is definitely a very interesting seasonal challenge I love the name seven summer flings it just sounds so much fun so supposedly it should end at the end of summer I believe it's September 21st anyways so which means I have about four months from this point on so that's quite a long time i think i could use some harder products but then also at the same time uh, my due date is late july so i figure i probably wouldn't be able to use makeup as consistently as i am now i picked instead of seven products i picked 10 just because i'm not sure how much makeup i am able to use once my baby's here so I think once I have seven products out of the 10 finished, then I can call it quits. Or by the time the project ends, I probably has hope to finish seven of them, if that makes any sense. But anyways, here are my 10 products that I have picked to be in this project. First, I have a concealer from Physicians Formula. This one is a Super CC Plus Color Correction Plus Care. CC concealer that's a long name anyways I got this a little while back I never tried it but then I just broke it open not too long ago maybe like a week or two ago and then I actually really really like it I think the color matches me really well I have it in the color light medium and also it's kind of creamy it doesn't crease under my eyes it covers really well I think I'm just like really liking it so far and this is a twisty pin kind of product so it twists up and this is where i am now it doesn't have a whole lot of product as i told you i just started using this not too long ago so um i don't know how fast this will go but i do use it daily so hopefully i can finish that guy i have an eyeliner from physicians formula this is the eye booster 2-in-1 lash boosting eyeliner plus serum and i have it in the color black so this is definitely one of my all-time favorite liquid eyeliners and i have this opened for a little while already and i've been kind of using it and i want to finish it in 2016 but the way i've been using it is only if I'm in a rush and I have to get out of the door real quick, then I would bust this out. So for that reason, I don't use it daily. I probably wouldn't use it as quickly. If I were to use it daily, there's no problem. I can finish this maybe in two months, I would say. Um, but we'll see how this goes. And there's no way for me to mark the progress just because the packaging is not transparent. Then I have an eyeshadow pencil from Urban Decay. This is their 24-7 glide on shadow pencil in the color Juju. I actually didn't realize this entire line was discontinued already. But anyways, this one is kind of a darker bronzy shade. I think it's really pretty, but because it's darker, so it's a little harder to use. And I just finished one in the color Sin in my last run of Project Tin Pan. I would link that video up here if you're interested to see. But I do like the formula. I think they do really look nice on my eyes. It's just that this color is a little darker, so it's probably a little bit harder to use. And here is my progress. So this is where I am now. Because I have used up one of those before, so I know that it really doesn't go all the way down to the bottom. So I probably could use it up to about this point. So I only have that much to go. Hopefully I can finish that. Then I have a harder product. This is Maybelline Master Glaze Blush Stick. And I have it in the color Just Pinched Pink. So this is a cream blush and... It's a little stick, but this little bit should last a long time because I think cream blushes are, they're just hard. They last forever. <laughs> and this one is actually pretty much brand new. So this is rolled down all the way. And as you can see, it's like pretty much flush with the top right here. And I do want to finish this product in 2016. So I figure I might as well just start using it. And I do have it on my cheeks today. I think it's all right. And this is how much I have right now. Then I have a rollerball perfume. So this one is from Elizabeth and James. It's the Nirvana Black. And I just got this this week, actually. I purchased a Sephora Favors kit, and this one came with it. 
if you watched my haul, you would know that when it first came, the little ball on the top, it was stuck in the cap. Even though I was able to get it out of the cap eventually, but I just kind of don't trust it anymore. And I think rollerball perfumes in general are not too hard for me, so hopefully I can finish that rather quickly. The next product I'm actually pretty excited about. This is from my Almay Quad. Looks like this, the lid already broke open, so I just took it off. Um, anyways, I wanted to finish this quad in 2016, and I have already finished one shade so far. So right here, actually, this part, it's not a eyeshadow. This is actually a um, eyeshadow base or primer, and I didn't like this primer too much to begin with because it's quite slippery and it doesn't really set. I like the kind of tacky, um, drier eye primers, <laughs> but anyways, Actually, this is a little bit of a side story. Um, I have a Jordana eyeshadow pencil in my finished 4 by 4th of July, and that one is like super dry and patchy, just not working on me. And someone has suggested that I could use a more slippery eyeshadow base or primer on the bottom, then use that pencil on top of it. Maybe that will help. So that got me reminded of this guy because it's quite slippery. And I tried it out, it works perfect. So I'm really happy about that and I would want to try to finish this primer uh, just in combination with that pencil now. Lastly, I have four lip products. So this is a little crazy, but I figured I could actually use lip products somewhat not quickly, but if I am consistent, I can use my lip products in a steady pace. So I'm really excited about that. I figure maybe I should just try to be more focused on my lip products. And right here, I do have a variety. The first one here is a lip liner, actually. It's from NYX, and I have it in the color Nude Pink. So it's just a pencil, and you could sharpen it, I guess. And here's a swatch. It's a nudie pink and I have it on my lips right now on the bottom so I usually don't use lip liners at all and I do have I think two or three in my collection now so I just want to use them up. So this is the progress line, this is how much I have right now. This pencil is pretty new. I, I would say I haven't used it too much since I bought it so it's probably quite a challenge for me to finish the entire thing but I would like to try. Then I have a lip balm. So this one is from L'Oreal. It is their Color Rich Balm, and I have it in the color Legally Wriggle. Actually, I really like this color because as you can see it's kind of a lavender purple-ish pink color. It's quite unique in my collection, and it's quite sheer actually. It doesn't show up a lot, the color on my lips, so I think I could use this as a lip balm or sometimes if I just want a sheer color, it would look really nice. So I will want to try that. And also I have another lip balm in my Finish 4 by 4th of July right now. Maybe I would wait a little while until that one is finished and then I would start using this guy. And this is how much I have right now. So not a whole lot, and also because this is a more balmy product, I imagine I will apply it a little bit more often, so it probably shouldn't be too much of a challenge for me to finish it up. The last two lip products are a little harder in my book. So the first one is a lip gloss from Revlon. So I wanted to finish three lip glosses in this year, and I have finished two already. This is the last one I have. This one is in the color Coral Reef. So it's kind of an orangey kind of shade. This is how much I have right now. So I haven't used too much of it, but I do really like this color. I think it actually looks surprisingly nice on my skin tone. The last one is from Revlon. It is the Just Bitten Kissable Balm Stain. So all the writings are rubbed off on my tube. As you can see, I have this for quite a while already. And I also want to use this up in 2016. So I don't have too much left right now. So as you can see, I had a little mark on the top. That's where I started at the beginning of the year or in March. <laughs> but this is where I am now. I put a little arrow next to it. So I don't have a whole lot left, but because this one is more like a stain product, so you really don't need to reapply throughout the day. So that might make it a lot harder to finish. Well, we'll see though. So I really want to try to finish this guy and also this is the shade I have on my lips today.
So that's all the 10 products I have picked for this project. And as I said, I would just call this project done once I finish seven out of the 10 products or of course when the time ends, whichever comes first. So if you haven't checked out Stephanie's video, please go check it out. I think it's really fun. And if you want to join in this challenge, please do. And leave me a link down below. I will go watch your video too. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.